Hey y'all, it's your girl Mudgy Ugun back again with another video. And today's video is going to be a sneaker collection video. Sneaker collection haul, whatever you want to call it. And I'm no way, shape, or form am I bragging or saying I'm a sneakerhead, hype beast, any of that because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, and I'm not. But I'm just showing you all what I have in my collection was currently in rotation and some things that I no longer wear. So, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also comment down below more videos you'd like to see and any questions y'all might have. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Some Adidas that I used to wear are the Z Flux. I had like two pair and I used to have the Samoas. I had two pairs of those as well, but I don't feel like going upstairs to get them for this video. I'm very sorry. I have my power right here. This is enough. So next we're going into these Adidas Tubulars. If you are a Yeezy fan, then you can see the slight similarity to the V2 Moon Rocks. And then your girl didn't have money for Yeezys at the time, so she went ahead and got herself some of these. And honestly, I like them. They were comfortable. They made me feel good. Excuse me, they made me feel good. So, hey, I got these in a kid's size seven. I do wear a size nine, nine and a half, ten, depending on the cut of the shoe in women. So, my sizing for men ranges from a seven, seven and a half. So, um, like I said, these are similar to the Moon Rocks. The only creasing that I have in these shoes are right here and right here. Other than that, my shoes do not look like those other people's shoes that you be seeing that the front look all dogged up and all of that. No. Next up is the Beluga 2.0s. I got this also in a size 7, but I wish I got it in a size 7.5 just because these are a bit more snug compared to the other pair of shoes I just showed. But nevertheless, if your shoes are too tight, just take out the soles and you will be fine. Um, if you know anything about Yeezys, then you know that these are kind of like the juniors to the Beluga 2.0s. The difference mainly is the hue of the gray the writing of the fly, the pull tab, and the 3M stripes. Nevertheless, they are not really similar, to be honest. They just have the same name because of the gray beluga um, ambiance that it has going on. But other than that, the grays are different, the writing is different, the structure is very much different but similar if you know what I'm trying to say. Next up are the infamous orthopedic looking shoes right here. The Fila Disruptor 2s. Um, I got these in a size eight and a half actually. I believe this is a woman's size because it's pink. Duh. But, um, I just don't remember because they didn't have these in stock. Had to pre order them so by the time I got them I was just like all right good they're here but these are women's eight and a half they are a bit snug I don't know why these are eight and a half to be honest but nevertheless I find these to be cute daddy shoes that you could wear with some high-waisted jeans or a skirt well depending on the skirt but nevertheless you know the the chunky the chunky sneakers is back in style and the one thing I hate about trends is that they leave so now we're going on to Nike I have these multicolor fly knits they're almost a cotton candy like scheme I got these in a the size nine and a half in women and these are actually too big my foot stops like right here and I'm actually about to give these to my mom because I just don't like the oversized filling at the top of my um my foot and I, and the thing is when I tried it on at the store I was just so overwhelmed like oh yeah you know what I'm saying I'm about to get these that I didn't even care but then when I got home I was just like these these don't fit they don't fit and then I got these same fly knits just a different color this is more of a mint scheme and I got these in a size seven and um kids and I'm just like okay so that means a size seven and kids is directly a nine and a nine and a half is a seven and a half but in fly knits you typically would have to go a size down just because of the type of design it is it's literally no bulkiness to it literally it's just mesh material next is this infrared colored Nike lunar tempo I got these just because I wanted a pair of running shoes I just was into that style at the moment. 
and I got these in a size nine in women, which translates to about seven, seven and a half in men slash kids. So we have these all white Air Max 90s. These are dirtied a little bit, a lot of bit, just because I used to wear these a lot in school. These are my like throw on, run out the house kind of shoes. These are in a size seven. They are a bit snug, but after a while my feet get used to it. But if I did feel bothered, I would take out the sole, but I don't really feel like it. I feel like these are classics, just like Air Force Ones. Everybody needs them. A pair of all white Air Maxes. Like, come on. Going into Jordans. Um, I have these Laney Ones. I got them in a size 7. I wish I got them in size 7 and a half, but I bought them off somebody. I think my ninth grade year, and I was real pressed for them, so I didn't care, of course take the soles out but the one thing I don't like about ones is just the stiffness in the toe box like there's nowhere for your feet to go once your feet are here if you have white feet you're gonna cringe for a couple of minutes but nevertheless I don't know why but lately I've been wanting some off-white ones but maybe that's just me being a little high beast I don't know but these are them these came out I want to say about three four years ago I believe so. Now we have the Flint 7s. I have been wanting these since I believe my ninth or 10th grade year in high school. And then one day I was just out with um, one of my friends at the shoe store and I was like, wait, they had the Flint 7s? I don't know why I was so pressed for these. I don't know if it's because of the gray and purple scheme going on. I don't know. And as you see here, it's, it's starting to yellow so I don't really wear them as much until I can get them restored but y'all yeah. sevens are actually my favorite pair of Jordans for some apparent reason maybe because they roll loose at the toe box area I mean it's a little bit stiff but you see some movement there to the ones ain't no movement ain't no movement nowhere if y'all want a story time about when i tried to go get the olympic sevens in 2010 and i almost got arrested by the police go ahead and give me a thumbs up because i will do it but only if y'all want to hear the story because i'm not about to do it for no reason but these are the flint next are the pure money sevens um these are just pure money sevens Next on to my second favorite pair of Jordans, 13s. So here we had the Squadron, 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 13s. And I don't know why, I just love this aquamarine looking scheme we have going on here. Like, even to the neon outline it's just something about it i don't know why i'm touching all over the bottom of the shoe but i got these in a size seven uh these have the insoles in there so <laughs> they're not that bad on sizing and for usual this holographic 23 i just it's something about the 13s i don't know it's just something i just next we have another pair of 13s the 3m 13s I got these in a size 7 as well. But the one thing I hate about the 3Ms is that they crease easily. I don't know if y'all can see it like right here. There's creasing. Compared to, well, actually the squadrons have a little bit of creasing. You see right here. But I don't know, maybe it's just the way 13s are. They're prone to creasing, but nevertheless, I just love me some 13s, y'all. I just, I don't know. My third favorite pair of Jordans are 14s. <laughs> 13, 14. These are the Thunder 14s. I got these in a size 7. The insoles are in. Um, I love 14s, excuse me, just because I just like the, the weird shape. Not weird, but unusual, unique shape they kind of have. Um, besides these, I have another pair. If I can find a picture online, I'll post them right here. They are, um, y'all not gonna tell me my nail broke? 
Y'all, so y'all wasn't gonna tell me my nail broke. But the other pair of 14s that I have are the George, well, we used to call them Georgetown 14s. I, I think they're actually called Graphite 14s, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm putting them right here. Those are my babies, but they started to turn yellow right here. And I wasn't rocking with it, and I didn't feel like restoring them or getting them restored just yet. These are shoes that I no longer wear anymore. These are my military blue fours. As you see, it has some pillin right here. The soles are yellow as pee. And the gray hair is a bit stained. I got these in, I think, 7th grade or 8th grade. And these were size 7. These soles are not in. The reason why I don't like 4s is because they're almost similar to 1s in the sense of the toe box. Real stiff. I'm not a fan of it. And this yellow one, I don't know if I even feel like restoring these because it's just like... I'm not a fan, to be honest. And lastly, for my more simple people, I have a pair of van Vans. Chucks. I need to get me a pair of Vans. If my friends know I've been living on Vans forever. But these are a pair of Chucks. Simple burgundy ones. Nothing really to it. And that brings me to the end of my video. Thank you so much for staying this long. I know it's kind of overwinded, but if you like sneakers, then this was just a breeze in the park. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from me. Thank you so much for clicking. Thank you so much for watching and tune in for much more.